Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I want to show you guys a cool trick that I discovered while using the famous Autogen library. So the Autogen library is a library developed by Microsoft that allows you to build large language model backed application with the design of agentic AI. So here we have this Google Colab notebook. I installed my library and I grab my key, set up the config file. And then I have these custom functions that I want to use. For example, first one is get stock prices, where I import the library Yahoo Finance and I download the stock data. And then I have a second custom function, plot stock prices, where I use matplot library to plot a plot. So now what if I want to execute this entire script using natural language? Well, I can define an assist agent as well as a local command line executor so that these two agents allow me to build up a conversable framework such that I can interact with the large language model to execute the code for me. Now, what if I want to execute this in a terminal window? So I copy everything here into a Python script. And now I'm going to go to the bottom left corner to open this terminal window, and I'm going to install the library in here. Now the library finish installing, let's clear that up and we can go ahead and execute the round.py script. So this will start an executor agent and then I'll be able to use natural language to interact with it. As you can see here, it's trying to create this Python script for me. So I'm going to hit enter. Now notice that here's an error that always pop out for some reason. It says that import error. Can I import a name guest.264643 prices? Now, this is interesting because in my Python script, I never had this name. So let's go to my Python script. Let's go up. You can see here the first function is named guest.prices and the second function is named plus.prices. So this name is actually a hallucination generated from large language model. I did not create that name. So normally you will think that you have to go to Python script to do something here and rerun the script but that actually does not get you past this error. How to get past this error is to use natural language to simply converse with the agent to tell it to change the name. So we can take the plot stock prices and we can simply tell it to change it. So here I just use natural language to make this update, I say enter. And while it's generating these scripts, you can see the directory on left hand side, there's a new folder called coding and this is where all the scripts are saved. So now see this execution is succeeded and you see this progress bar. I know this progress bar is from Yahoo Finance. And on left hand side, you can see that this PNG file is created. This task is already done. So I'm going to say it, exit to finish the conversation. Boom, there you go. Now we're back to this terminal and this runtime is finished. And we can plot out the PNG file on the left hand side. As you can see, here's the stock price. And then we can verify the code. Here, that's exactly what happened. We took the stock prices and then we have a for loop to plot out whatever index, whatever prices that we're looking at. And we can go to the fetch and plot stocks.py function to verify what's going on. Here we have two stocks and then we have a start date, end date. And then we use the functions that we defined to plot the prices. And the second function created this PNG file. So boom, there you go. Hopefully this sheds some lights of how to communicate with the large language model inside of a runtime on a terminal window by using the Autogen library. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.